hello friends welcome to this video so in this video i will actually show you a vue.js canva clone image and pdf editor that i developed inside the browser and also i have deployed this website on my website freemediatools.com slash view canva clone so you can actually check out this tool so this tool looks like uh, very much like canva you will see that the interface the UI looks like Canva. So we have the templates right here. If you click templates, you can basically select any template that you want. And then you can edit it, change the text like this. So we have various templates out there. You can even add your own templates. Once you get the source code, you can add the templates in a folder. I will show you the source code. It is coded inside Vue.js. It is using JS PDF, HTML to Canvas and Fabric JS library. And also we have different shapes out there. You can add all these shapes. It is actually there in SVG. So if you want to create a new document, you can simply click new. Uh, this will remove this design. So you can just need to conf confirm it. You can add multiple pages as well like Canva. So there is an option right here if you want to add multiple pages. You can add multiple pages right here and also there is a resize option right here at the bottom screen. If you want to resize to a particular width and height you can provide let's suppose I want to provide the width to be 500 and height to be 500 and click resize. So your canvas will be resized and here you can apply whichever background color you want various effects are there if you want to do instagram post so there are very various presets out there instagram story you will see facebook post facebook cover facebook ad youtube thumbnail youtube channel full hd invitation a4 card so all these predefined sizes are also available if you don't want to resize your document just select it from these pre predefined you can select this very easily and also we have the various shapes out there. So these are various shapes you can change it. Then we have the ability to actually add the title. You can actually control the size of the text by or you can simply use the mouse here just place the text anywhere you can add multiple text you can perform you can change the color like this so here if you want to change the background color you need to go to the background section and here you can change the background color like this very easy so now if you want to export this design you have this option of save as and either you can save it as pdf document if you select pdf your design will be saved as a pdf document if you see so if you want to save it as an image file then you will simply select image so there are various options out there you can export this to png jpg bmp webp so let's suppose if i select png so now if you see the export port design has been successfully exported to PNG and uh, let me show you the second one JPG also the same so we also have the option to which is BMP which is also an extension like this so WebP is actually a new extension which runs in the browser which actually is optimizes the size of your image so it's very good for web thumbnails so all these ex extensions are supported and if you want to search images from unsplash you will basically search any images you can type here laptop if you want to get laptop images so it is coming through unsplash we are using the unsplash api to actually get all these images dynamically so you can use these images like this as a background So there is also this or you can upload your own images as well. So there is an option here. You can select multiple images and then if you want to want to delete a page you can simply click the remove button so that page will be removed. So if you want to add an image it's very simple. Click the plus icon 
so your image will be added you can place the image accordingly just you can make a very awesome little thumbnail so same thing that we do in canva we the interface is quite natural and you will find it very easy so now you want to export this you can export this with image the pdf document so you will now see the successfully the image is successfully exported and uh, we have also the different layers out there if you see we have different layers we have the image layer which is there the text layer each and everything you can even lock your image file there is lock option you can change the opacity of this image control it transparency you can change the position align it top left center every every location you can rotate this as well by selecting all these options so all these controls are there we also have the undo and redo options as well so we also have this undo redo options as well so So it's a fully fleshed editor guys which where you can actually export your design to PDF image and uh, you can individually delete this image if you don't want to by clicking the dustbin icon. You can even apply effects to your images so you can basically blur your image like this there is an effect out there if you want to change the brightness you can change the brightness like this. So these are all the different effects which are there. Border, you can add uh, any border of your color. Let's suppose I want to add a white border. So these are different corner radius you can even give. If you want to give it a shadow, there are various controls out there. You can play with this editor guys. I am not good at designing. So all these things are there. You can just see the power of this editor. You can put shadows. You can add to box shadows. Everything. You can add borders as well. You can apply all these effects to these images. And now coming back to the source code. This is actually the full directory structure you will get after you make the payment. The link is given in the description. You can go to my website procodestore.com. And after you purchase it you will actually be redirected to Google Drive. You will have where you will be getting the zip file which will contain this directory structure and inside the source directory we have this all this code so we have the different components out there it is you can see all these components are coded inside Vue.js and uh, the latest version of Vue which is Vue 3 and if I show you the package.json file the different dependencies that we are using we are using the fabric.js which is an open source library we are using the JS PDF library which is again an open source PDF library and also we are using HTML to canvas library which is again an open source library for exporting the HTML to canvas. So we also have the option to if you don't belong to English language if you don't comfortable you can select your own native language Portuguese, Dutch, France language, Italian, Spain, Spanish all these languages are supported if you now you will see your text will be converted to your respective language so if you're not from English country you can select all of all of these native languages which are supported so once you get the source code you can actually edit this project to add more languages to add more shapes more images so actually the directory structure is there for each and every style right here the data this actually contains the templates so you can add more templates once you get the source code. Once you understand the source code you can add your own templates as well in this file the template.ts. All this coded inside TypeScript and we also have the folder for different assets. You will see these are SVG files which we actually use as different shapes. You can add your own shapes as well by actually converting it to SVG file. So you can add your own shapes as SVG files once you get the source code. So before purchasing it, you can actually try this full demo. I have deployed this demo on freemediatools.com view Canva clone. So before purchasing it, you can actually try this demo. If you like it, then only purchase it and uh, you can see that. So all this code is there. We are not using any third party or uh, paid library. It is all open source. 
So once you purchase it, you will have full commercial right to actually deploy this to any website or use it or modify the source code. Everything you have the right. So I showed you all these open source libraries. We haven't used any third party subscription based library. So these are all open source libraries. I built this from scratch and uh, you can just see. So the SAS, you can see this is all the st style sheet which is there. So this is the app view folder. So it's a fully flesh editor and uh, basically we are running it on local host. So once you get the source code, you just need to initialize, go to the directory and just initialize this command npm i. So this will actually install as a dev, uh, all the modules. Now you just need to npm run dev to actually start that as a local development environment npm run dev. So Vite will actually start a new development server, which is localhost 5173. So if you visit localhost 5173, you will actually see your project will be started. So it will take some time because it's a huge project. So five, 10 seconds, it will take for the very first time. So just wait for the project to get started. It needs to compile all those ads, assets, all those images, and then it will start. You will see five, ten seconds, and then you can actually add your text. You can add your own images. You can see, you can save it. All these things are working. So I just want to show you locally as well. It is perfectly working. So you can add a back background here. So then you can export this PDF document is also working perfectly. You can just see. So this is actually the project. And if you want to deploy this, you can run a command npm run build. So what it will do, it will actually create a disk directory in the root in the left hand side. If you just see, if you run this, a disk directory will be created. It will compile all your assets, bundle them into a disk folder where you can actually deploy this project into any sort of hosting, shared hosting, cloud hosting, or any VPS hosting. So it will give you the minified HTML, CSS, and JavaScript code alongside with all the assets are available. So just see on the left hand side, it will actually create a disk folder. So this folder is created. And now you can just see all the assets have been bundled and you can actually see the project files which are there all the assets the editor different kind of fonts which are used the lines svg shapes different templates so it's a fully fleshed project guys you will see this is a starting point here for application you just need to run this index.html so this is the actual project so you can just see you can basically a lot of phones are there unlimited number of phones you can even add your new google font as well if you have a ttf file you can click this button and simply upload a your own font you can download ttft file from google phones if you try to so there are lots of customized google phones available you can upload this font as well so by clicking this and uploading it so but we have various customize fonts as well but you can select this option so various other fonts are there you can see how many different kinds of fonts are there you can just change the text and uh, these are different uh, line height you can control letter space all these things are customizable so you can try this on free media tools view canva clone on the checkout page the link is given in the description you can purchase the full source code once you purchase it you will get the zip file so before purchasing it you can actually check out the live demo so this was i showed you all the features guys which is supported by this system canva clone so thank you very much for watching this video and i will be seeing you in the next one